Okay, we're grabbing. I don't care. 192. You seen that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Welcome back everyone flex here hope all of you are having a wonderful day and today's video I'll be showing you the almighty steel essence farm the best one currently in the game So without anything else, let's jump straight into today's video So what do we need the very first thing we need is to have chimera unlocked on Jupiter That's the very first thing we need when we spawn on chimera and Jupiter We're looking specifically for this tower set now as you see I went through the door I saw four, locker, four lockers in the back, and that's exactly what we want these four lockers. This is what we need. This is a jackpot. In this wee room, the acolyte was spawning. This is exactly what we want. The acolyte spawns there. We kill him. See lessons drops there. Boom. Easy farm. Binga, binga, bonga. First thing done. So the next thing we need is a warframe. So, for this farm, we are going to be using Cora. The reason we are using Cora is that she's really good at killing the Akla in a designated area, while also really good at crowd control. So the build we are going to be using on Cora is this. I survived so many hours with this build and I love it. So for this farm, with rolling guards are absolute lifesaver. It will save you so much from dying. Also, you can run arcanes. I run arcane, energize, and arcane fury. However, it's completely your choice. However, I definitely recommend using arcane energize. You can swap arcane fury for a different arcane if you want. Also, if you're interested why I chose these mods, I'll put a message in the description explaining my choices. Also, while you're here, make sure to smash that like and subscribe because I'm giving away 100 plat to 10 lucky people when we hit 1,000 subscribers. So go on, smash that subscribe. Anyway, let's carry on with the video. The next thing we need is a melee. So I was using my Reaper Prime. However, it's your choice whatever you use. So here's my Reaper Prime build. As I said, it's completely your choice. You can use other melees. However, if you're using another melee, I recommend having a decent amount of crit chance and crit damage as it will help you out when killing these ads. The next thing we need is a Samia Kava. I will spend more time explaining this as this is very important for this farm to work. So, it is very important that you have a Samia Kava because the Samia Kava will help us turn in... 48 steel essence for example into 192 or 384 or even help us turn it into 768 steel essence in less than an hour and if you ask me that is over half a million kuva in less than an hour from this farm was absolutely crazy and as you saw at the start of the video, I got myself a double buff. So when I picked up the Steel Essence at the beginning of the video, you saw I got 192 Steel Essence in less than an hour. That was out of this world. Super good, super lucky, loved it. So if my Kavat proc a triple buff, I would have gone 384 or even 768 if I got a quadruple buff. To get triple quadruple buff will require some luck, more, more, quite a bit of luck actually let me say. However, it is not impossible, it all comes down to basically how much you've been rubbing your cat on the belly, you know what I mean? It all comes down to how much your Kavat loves you. So let's stop talking about numbers and let's talk about the build. So for this build, you will need charm and tech enhance on our build. However, we will also need an unranked fetch and this is really important. That the fetch is unranked. So this build I'm using right now must make of as you can see. I have charm and tech enhance maxed out and also I have an unranked fetch. The reason the fetch is unranked is because we don't want to be gathering the steel pot steel essence, sorry, by accident when we walk near it. So Everything else on your Kavat, I modded my Kavat into armor, shields, and health to help the Kavat stay alive longer. I recommend you do the same. However, this is completely down to you. I did that just so it can stay alive more, so I don't have to res it 24-7. However, the modding parts, that comes down to you. But those three mods I said, those are a must on your Kavat. Also, if you would like me to explain how the Kavat proc system works feel free to tell me in the comments and i'll do another separate video explaining it more in depth exactly step by step how double triple and quadruple procs work so now you know everything you need to be able to start farming so the way this is going to work you're going to go on jupiter on chimera and you hopefully you're on the right tile set when you're on the right tile set you're going to activate the alarms and after the alarms are activated you're going to start building up your melee combo 
I prefer my my melee combo to be a roughly around 11, 12. However, 10s are right. However, you want to be preferably in the 11s. I'm not gonna lie. So after you go a decent combo, aka 11, you're gonna go roughly in the middle of the hallway. And you're going to place down your 4th ability in Korra. When you place your 4th ability in Korra, that's the chain one. So your enemies are going to start getting chained to your bit, to the chain, to the cage, sorry. And you're going to do the good old whipping nanny. So right now, you're just building up your whip clock combo, aka the mod we had on our build. And this will allow us to do more damage. So after you did a few kills with your whipping nanny, you're going to roll forward to activate rolling guard. So you become invulnerable and you cannot die. Once you do that, you go and collect the loot and you run back. And it's just a constant cycle from then. You repeat it. You build your combo, collect the root back, pop the chain, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So eventually, after a couple minutes of doing that, the acolyte should start to spawn in. So as soon as you see the flashes, you're going to run back to the end of the room, aka right beside the lockers. And you're going to slowly like twitch forward until the door just opens. As soon as that door opens, you're just going to stand still and wait for the acolyte to spawn in. So when the Acolyte spawns in, you're going to activate your second ability to trap the Acolyte in a place. So the way, because we're trapping him, we're allowing all the Steel Essence to gather in one specific room. So after you do that, you just do the good old Whipping Nene with your first ability. Boom! You just killed the Acolyte, and now you're doing the farm. And now you just repeat that massive, it's not even a massive cycle, you just repeat that cycle here and there. Boom! You just got into the farm. Now you're just waiting. Now this is the hardest part and the most annoying part. Is waiting for your Kavat to pop like a double buff or a triple buff or even a quadruple buff. However, if you can't be bored waiting for a double or a triple. You can just pick up a normal single double. I mean a symbol proc. And it will just be fine. However, you won't get crazy rewards as you saw me explain in the video. And I got a double buff earlier in the video. Hopefully, this video helped you out by getting more Kuva again, more Steel Essence, as this is the best farm in the game currently. And if any big changes happen, I'll make sure to do a video about updating you guys so you can carry on farming more Kuva or Steel Essence. However, if you made it this far, please smack down. Cora Prime in the comments and I'll see who made it this far and anyway make sure to smash that like and subscribe as I'm giving away 10 I'm sorry I'm giving away a hundred plat to 10 lucky subscribers when we hit 1k subscribers so anyway thank you so much for watching today's video and if you did as I said smash that like and subscribe and yeah guys if you want any other videos or farms tell me in the comments but anyway it's Bean Flex remember Cora Prime here we come stay safe peace out good night